BMW Z3 models equipped with a four-cylinder engine utilize two multi-ribbed engine drive belts. The small outer belt drives the AC compressor and the larger inner belt drives the alternator, coolant pump, and power steering pump. Some models have an idler pulley on the main drive belt and some do not. Use this diagram to aid with removing and installing your drive belt. Before removing the drive belts, mark the direction of rotation if you're reusing your belts and note the installation position. To remove the alternator accessory drive belt, you have to remove the AC belt first. This is the order I will show you how to service the belts on your four-cylinder Z3 engine. I'd like to remove the air filter housing which makes it easier to access the tensioner and belt Begin by safely raising and supporting the front of your vehicle, and if you need additional assistance with that task, please follow the link provided at the end of this video. Use a small flathead screwdriver and remove the dust tensioner cap indicated by the green arrow by gently levering off the cap by prying at the edges. The tensioner on the AC belt is secured in position using a locking bolt, green arrow. To relieve the tension, loosen the 13mm bolt. Once this bolt is loosened, the tensioner will release and you can remove the belt. You can now remove the drive belt from the AC compressor and pulley. Next, you will remove the alternator accessory drive belt. Using a flathead screwdriver, loosen the secondary air pump inlet hose clamp indicated by the green arrow. Then remove the secondary air inlet hose from the air filter housing by pulling it straight off. Green arrow. Next, you will unclip the three air filter housing retaining clips, green arrows. One of the clips would hidden beneath the secondary air inlet hose. You have to reach in behind the filter housing to access it. Disconnect the intake air sensor electrical connector by pressing the wire release tab and pulling the connector straight off. Working at the airflow meter, twist the electrical connector counterclockwise to disconnect, green arrow. Then loosen the airflow meter hose clamp, yellow arrow. Once loose, remove the air filter housing from the engine compartment. Next, you have to loosen two 10 mm nuts, about 10 turns from the lower air filter housing, green arrows. This will be enough to get it out. With the lower air filter housing unbolted, lift it up, fastener side first, feeding the intake tube, green arrow, out of the shroud in the radiator. Using a small flathead screwdriver, remove the tensioner dust cap, green arrow. Gently lever off the cap by prying at the edge. To release tension on the belt, use a 16mm socket to rotate the AC belt tensioner counterclockwise and slide the belt off the pulleys. Remove the belt from the alternator, then remove from the remaining pulleys. With the belts removed, inspect the pulleys for lateral play or binding. To install an accessory drive belt, begin by wrapping the belt around the crankshaft pulley, then over and around the water pump. Pull a loop of the belt through the crankshaft pulley and water pump pulley and place it around the tensioner. Then place the belt on the power steering pulley and around the alternator. Release the tension. Then install the belt around the tensioner pulley and tension the belt. Check that it is properly aligned and installed in all the pulley grooves correctly careful not to force the belt onto the pulleys, damage may occur. To install the AC drive belt, begin by wrapping the belt around the crankshaft pulley and then onto the AC pulley. Next, place it on top of the tensioner pulley. To tension the AC belt, use a 10 mm Allen green arrow and rotate the tensioner counterclockwise to tension the belt. While holding tension with the Allen, tighten the 13 mm locking bolt, yellow arrow. Reinstall the dust caps on the tensioner pulleys and install the intake air housing. Start engine and allow it to run for less than 30 seconds. Shut off the engine and recheck the belt installation. BMW Z3 models equipped with a six-cylinder engine utilize two multi-rib engine drive belts. A small outer drive belt drives the AC compressor and the larger inner drive belt drives the alternator, coolant pump, and power steering pump. Before removing the drive belts, mark the direction of rotation if you're reusing the belts, and note the installation position. There are two styles of tensioners, hydraulic and spring-loaded. 
each has a unique way of releasing tension. For the hydraulic style tensioners, remove the dust cap, yellow arrow, from the tensioner pulley. Once the dust cap is removed, you have access to the 8mm Allen bolt used to rotate the tensioner, red arrow. Spring-loaded tensioners use a 16mm hex boss to rotate and release the tension, red arrow. Locate the AC drive belt tensioner, yellow arrow. Use a 16mm hex boss, red arrow, or remove the dust cap to access the Allen bolt if the 16mm hex boss is not present. Using a ratchet with a long handle and an 8mm socket, or a 16mm open end wrench, depending on the style of the tensioner, rotate the AC belt tensioner clockwise to release tension and slide the belt off the pulleys. Locate the accessory drive belt tensioner and remove the dust cap if necessary. Using a ratchet with a long handle and the appropriate socket, rotate the drive belt tensioner clockwise to release tension and slide the belt off the pulleys. Red arrow. With the belts removed, inspect the pulleys for lateral play or binding. The idler pulley commonly fails. If this occurs, the coolant pump will lose the drive belt and the engine will overheat. Now is a good time to replace the idler pulley to prevent future problems. To install the accessory drive belt, begin by wrapping the belt around the crankshaft pulley, then over and around the power steering pulley, around the alternator, around the coolant pump, and around the tensioner pulley. Avoid running the belt under the idler pulley for now. Once the belt is properly installed on all accessories, release the tensioner as described earlier and slide the belt onto the idler pulley. Tension the belt and check that it is properly aligned and installed on all pulley grooves correctly. Be careful not to force the belt onto pulleys, damage may occur. To install the AC drive belt, begin by wrapping the belt around the crankshaft pulley, then onto the AC pulley bringing a loop of the belt towards the tensioner, working through the center of the loop tensioner as described earlier, and slide the belt onto the tensioner pulley. Release tensioner and check that the belt is properly aligned and installed in all pulley grooves correctly. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.